how to check a dog for ticks and remove any you find. Did you know your fine furry friend can get Lyme disease too? Giving Fido a once-over will not only protect him from infection, but it can help keep you and your family safe too. You'll need fine tip tweezers, soap, warm water, rubbing alcohol, cotton balls, a sealed container, and a veterinarian. Optional, a sturdy table or counter, a towel, and a sealable plastic baggie. Step one, before starting, wash the tweezers thoroughly in soapy water or wipe them carefully with a cotton ball soaked in rubbing alcohol. If you do find a tick, you'll want to be ready to remove it right away. Step two, sit your dog down. If you have a small dog, it may be easier to put him on a sturdy counter or table with a towel under him. Step three, run your hands over the dog's body gently but thoroughly, beginning with the face and ears and moving back toward the tail. Step four, check the dog's chest, stomach, legs, and feet. Be sure to examine between the toes and the armpits and inside the ears. Remember, some ticks are as small as the head of a pin. Step five, if you feel any bumps beneath the skin, separate the fur to examine the area more closely. Step six, if you find a tick, it may have already formed a protective sac around itself. Use the clean tweezers to grasp the sack as closely as possible to the dog's skin. Try to avoid crushing the tick's body. This may be difficult with very small ticks, but do your best. Step seven, pull the sack away from the dog's skin. If the tick's mouth parts are left behind, don't be concerned. Once the body is removed, it can no longer transmit bacteria. Step eight, do not prick, crush, or burn the tick. Instead, place it in a sealable container, such as a lidded jar, with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Seal the container and throw it away. If you don't have a lidded jar, place the tick in a sealable plastic baggie and throw it away. Step nine, clean the bitten area with rubbing alcohol. Step 10, wash your hands thoroughly. Step 11, over the next few weeks, check the spot where you pulled the tick. Some dogs may have a red spot or slight swelling in the area for several days. If serious redness, swelling, or tenderness occurs, contact your veterinarian. Step 12, talk to your vet about whether your dog might benefit from collars, pills, or topical applications that protect against fleas and ticks. Did you know the most common symptom of Lyme disease in dogs is lameness and painful swelling of the joints?